Hi guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new here, I, well, I'm Jess and I like to make videos uh, revolving around different gardening tips and um, mainly succulents though. So keep that in mind when you watch my video. Um, so <laughs> this is a easy bright light bulb and I wanted to do a video on this because you guys have been asking me and asking me in so many of my other videos for a review on a grow light that is a single bulb and so I think this is really important to give you guys this content because well one you've been asking for it and two my setup is <laughs> for someone who might be more addicted to succulents as as I am um, so it's not practical for everyone else, you know? I mean, it's not practical for everyone to have three foot or four foot grow lights um, in their apartment or room or whatever. So this is something that I think will work for all plants. Um, this can work for any type of gardener. You know, it'll be a small startup grow light bulb for you and you can build from there. Sorry if you see a little tail wagging around my dog is sitting next to me so hi baby come here this is Kona <laughs> so she's just chilling with me um, but so we're gonna do a review today so easy bright reached out to me uh, to do a review on their light bulb and I can honestly say that I think this was a great grow light um, I thought that it did a really good job at maintaining the succulents that I put under it, making sure that it got enough light. Um, and the other thing that I really liked about this light bulb is that you could actually position it farther away from the plant itself than what I would position. Yeah. As I would position my other grow lights, like the ones that I have in my room right now that are um, over my other succulents you know, need to be about six inches to a foot away from the plant to actually work. So that's something I liked about this one because I was able to have it be about a foot and a half away from the succulent to actually just have it on. So you don't, so it can cover a larger distance with more intense light, I think. Um, one thing to note though, is that this is a purple light. So if I were, to use this and I'm going to be using it so I'll just tell you what I'm going to be doing. Um, I might just turn this on at night be as like you know a little night light because I had it set up in my kitchen as I'll show you in a minute and it would kind of like mess with my eyes or something I'd recommend um, is having a cover for it so that the light is kind of more reflected back into itself I guess that, if that makes sense. Um, not necessarily away from the plant but just away from your eyes because I could see the direct light and it just kind of messed with me when I was cooking in the kitchen a little bit. So that's just a tip that I would have for you guys. Um, a lot of grow lights are purple, so there's not much you can do to get away from that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so otherwise I thought this was a really good light. Um, I'll show you a clip of the succulents that I put under there. I did that for about a month and a half under this light and they did great. I would just turn it on when I was leaving the house to go to work and I would shut it off when I came back, so maybe eight hours. Um, Easy Bright on their website does recommend that you keep seedlings about a foot away, about a foot away from the light uh, for optimal growth. And um, a lot of their users like to keep it on for 12 hours on, 12 hours off sort of cycle. Um, I mean, I got away with eight just fine and it worked well on the grow light or on the succulents so maybe you can get away with that too kind of depends on what plant you're growing and its light requirements so maybe just keep that in mind okay so this is my kitchen sink i had the lights sending down along here this is the only uh light bulb screw in that i could find i didn't have a lamp that i could do this with that pointed down um so i just did it in here this is what the bottom looks like and I'll take it out and show you guys. But I just set it up so that my light switch could be the one to turn it on. Okay, so these are the two succulents that I had put under the grow light for this last month. This one was already this tall. When I put it under there, um, I was wondering if it would shorten it up a little bit. Um, I mean, I know it won't go in reverse, but keep it um, stuck up here. As you can see, this one did really good. There's even some roots on this little baby. 
Uh, there's really pretty pink edges along this. So it did a really good job at um, giving these succulents a lot of light. Um, and it did compact this one. The thing that I liked about this grow light bulb is that you didn't need it as close as my fluorescent lights. Um, whereas like, so in my grow shelf, you know, I want them about six inches away from this, but I had them about a foot and they did really well the whole month. So this light bulb is an LED light. I honestly don't know a ton about grow lights. Um, I just have products that I've used and have liked and want to share with you guys and so I really liked this one I'm going to be using it from now on um, in a different spot of my house where I want to have some plants with a grow light this one worked great I know my cousin actually has one of these set up in his like ceiling light and then he turns it on at night and it shines on a little tree that they have in their apartment and so that's another good way to use it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you guys find this product really helpful. If you do, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, for those of you interested in the product, I will include a link down below for it, um, and you can go check that out. So thanks. Bye.